Well, guys, thank you for all the support you gave us on our last video. I know it's been a couple of days. I usually say this same thing every time. But yeah, like I am always, I am back again to give y'all another hit, hopefully. But not nah, for real, guys. Thank you for all the support you've given us on our last videos. We are really appreciated. Thank you. Also, still continue to support Mooski and all his posts of video game content. We really appreciate him of the channel and all that good stuff. But with that being said, today I got for y'all Luigi versus Shadow. Now, unlike my last video that I claim that I already done before. Yeah, fun fact, I actually never did that video. Yeah, I actually never had did Tales vs. Luigi, so that was actually my first time ever posting that. I, I don't know where I got that from that I had already posted that. But uh, yeah, either way, it doesn't really matter. But this has been done before, and I should be showing you right now. Uh, yeah, I've already done this one before. Now, with that being said, uh, Shadow vs. Luigi is an interesting concept uh, because you're putting the rival of Sonic against Mario's brother. You can kind of say he's kind of a rival in that, you know, terms but uh you know either way i'm looking forward to doing this video uh if you guys do enjoy the video please be sure to leave us uh to be able to hit that subscribe button that helps us out a lot uh thanks and uh yeah let's get into this video right now okay so i'm gonna start out and explaining as i usually do that i cut my videos into three fortunes one where i covered the character and their first interpretation and that means they're scaling and i care and i do the second character and their interpretation of their scaling and then at the end i just talk about who i think wins and if necessary i do scenarios to you know get my point across so on and so forth considering the fact that i've already recently just scaled luigi in my previous video which was tales versus luigi i will be scaling luigi but i will be like doing things to get to a certain point and i'm going to be you know summarizing things that don't involve stuff like paper luigi and so on and so forth so we can get a more accurate video game scale okay let's do that right now and get into the luigi portion luigi is the younger brother and sidekick towards mario since his debut he has been in every super mario bros title with the exception of a few luigi helps his brother save princess preach from bowser the main antagonist like his brother he was born to a stork and carried to his home when all of a sudden kamek came from nowhere and kidnapped luigi as well as his transporter stork but missing wario the later plummeted to the ocean below while the former was held captive at Bowser's castle. Mario met up with the Yoshis and utilizing brotherly telepathy, he seeked out and saved his brother from the Koopas. So as we got right there, that is pretty much Luigi's like backstory and summary. And with that being said, we can now move forward to other things. Now, as I said in my previous video, powers and abilities won't really matter that much in terms of my videos. I like to cover attack potency and speed as I think those are the most crucial things in terms of upscaling. But uh, considering that we kind of like covered like a lot of Luigi last time, and although I do have like, you know, written down a lot of his, um, you know, power ups, I don't really think they're necessary. I don't really want to give him those. Uh, although to, on the contrary, I want to say this before I even get into the shadow section, I will be giving shadow the chaos symbols as I think that's a lot fairer, especially when you get into like what I'm going to be giving Luigi. Although they're not necessarily the most mainstream power-ups, it makes a lot of sense. Okay, so let's get into Luigi's attack potency right now. When looking at Luigi's earliest attack potency, we can scale him to universal level plus because he defeated Bowser who tanked the collapse of its galaxy reactor. He also can be scaled to him. Luigi damaged Bowser to the point Bowser ended up unconscious. Then we can say he is multiversal with the Chaos Heart, which is what I was talking about earlier. With the Chaos Heart, he can use the Void, which can destroy all worlds in the Marioverse and recreate them into the Wilder's own image. Then we can get further scaling from Multiverse with the Pure Hearts by saying with they is able to defeat Super Dementio. Low complex multiverse level, he can be a part of Super Dementio. Kirby exists in the Marioverse, so the Void might have erased Kirby. Then we finally get to where I got Luigi last time in terms of his attack potency scaling in my Tails vs. Luigi video, which is out or verse level, which is comparable to the other heroes who defeated Dementia. Now, a little bit of a difference, but not really, is that I'm not going to be going that in depth in speed. And we can just say Luigi's most main speed is MMTL Plus because he can react while is flunched by a lunch star. Now, with that being said, with the pure hearts, immeasurable speed. And we can even say that he might have irrelevant speed because he moved into the void. This being said, I think Luigi's most in like 
his best interpretations in measurable scaling as i said last time and i just think that speed is just a lot better with that being said that is gonna do it for the luigi portion and we have covered his speed and power so yeah let's get into shadow section which i've actually never done before so yeah let's get into that right now okay shadow the hedgehog is a fictional character from the sonic the hedgehog series who is an anthropomorphic black hedgehog slash black arm hybrid and the arch rival of sonic the hedgehog shadow was created as the ultimate life form by gerald robotnik using the dna of black doom and is the final result of project shadow his purpose was to provide ways of developing cures for deadly illnesses that had no cures namely for gerald's granddaughter maria robotnik but he was captured and put into stasis by the military when he was deemed a threat to humanity now for shadow i will cover some of his abilities and power but not really because they're not really that much to talk about but looking at shadow he has superhuman physical characteristics spin dash homing attack body control chaos energy manipulation energy projection immortality type one skilled hand-to-hand -hand combat skill with a variety of weapons and firearms can generate a blast of black wind fire manipulation teleportation time manipulation spatial manipulation can survive in space healing duplication of force field creation can bfr people outside of space time resistance to paralysis and gas mind control can transform into several strong forms to temporarily increase its power and speed say shifting via color powers levitation and gravity manipulation via indigo asteroid same as before plus enhanced staff flight resistance to soul manipulation and considering that's all i got for shadow that i didn't really feel like it was no need to not just say those that's all i got anyways so yeah moving forward we can now actually get into his attack potency and speed so let's do that right now as shadow's most basic level his attack potency reaches into the level of city level is adventure sonics equal then we can say he's multi-continental level because he defeated ibis by attacking his weak spot then we can say large planet level likely door star level comparable to martin sonic then we can say door star level intensely superior to his base form and at least multi solar system level to multi universe level because equal to supersonic as they use the same power source so yeah with that being said shadow's most highest power is multi-universal level so yeah that's his max attack potency uh moving forward we have speed we can say at his most bare minimum considering this is a sonic game you would think this is like the sonic character's thing sonic speed is fdl because it's comparable to sonic at least fdl at least fdl with inhibitor rings mass will be fdl to infinite because he's equal to supersonic who fosters Lars in a timeless void you can arguably say he has immeasurable speeds even to that of irrelevant speed because of this but for me i think the most consistent scaling is either inaccessible to immeasurable levels and that infinite speed is a good base but i'm i would rather say like at least inaccessible levels of speed with that being said that is going to do it for shadow speed and power so now we can get into the final section of this video and cover them all together and pretty much say who i think wins overall okay let's get into it right now okay looking at like shadow and like luigi i will do like a slight scenario just because the overall thing here is this is luigi if it wasn't very clear based off what i said uh he is not only has the same arguments as shadow kind of when it comes to speed i'm going to cover speed first when you look at like the most bare minimum like speed calculations like right we can say that luigi might mftl plus so he's already matching shadow and speed for like the most part and it literally takes the pure hearts to get luigi into like the conversation of like well can shadow like blitz can they blitz each other like what's really going on here like are they equals well not really if we take luigi like without the pure hearts shadow is like way faster like i literally said like without those but i mean that's with shadow with the chaos symbol as well and that's just scaling him to sonic so i mean to be completely honest with you you can make an argument that they're both at least mftl plus so you can make an argument they're equal in speed and this would have to be fixed with the power but i'm willing to say that if we're not giving luigi the like you know the power hearts and we're not giving like you know the chaos symbols to shadow they're pretty equal in terms of power i mean well, i mean speed but here's the thing with giving like the, the pure like giving him the hearts and then giving shadow the chaos symbols it's not really that close like luigi has scaling that can easily put him at a relevant level of speed which i don't like as i've stated in my previous video i think that his most consistent speed is immeasurable to inaccessible which is exactly what i think shadows is so with that being said you can make an argument that like they're in the same range of speed so i don't think shadow is by far like getting the blitz or anything i don't think either one of them is getting blitz i honestly think they're both in the same range of speed so if they're both in the same range of speed we can just get a blitz scenario just out of here with that being said though with the uh chaos heart 
it is very important to keep in mind that Luigi is the way stronger than Shadow. And that's kind of where this battle takes a turn for the worst is attack potency. Luigi with like the pure hearts. With they is able to defeat Super Dimensio. And he gets to even out of his levels of scaling because he's comparable to other heroes who defeated Dimensio. With that being said, he like highly ranks above Shadow, who we know for a fact, based off the scaling that I use, my scaling specifically, that he was multi-solar system to multi-universal level, and that was because he was equal to supersonic as they used the same power source. So with that being said, if he's just multi-universal level, which is very impressive for Shadow, don't get me wrong, that's very impressive in terms of attack potency, but out of level is like literally one tier away from being balance level, which is the strongest a character can humanly be in fiction, which is just too much power. Whereas Shadow is like tiers and tiers below Luigi in terms of attack potency. So although I think speed is pretty even, I just think the power is where Luigi just takes it. So with that being said, now I know a lot of you are going to be like, wait, what about like chaos control? So like he just chaos control him? Well, that kind of goes back to the whole speed thing. If I'm thinking Luigi and Shadow are on the same speed level, then I don't really see a world where Chaos Control would really get to Luigi before Luigi could like either A, beat him, or so on and so forth. If I had to give Luigi a difficulty rating for this battle though, considering they are in the same level of speed, so this isn't like some crazy knockout, I would say he would win with mid div. And this is simply because I believe that Luigi could possibly get hit with like, you know, the idea of like, you know, Chaos Control. But Luigi has actually been shown to move through space with the help of warp stars and whatnot. Although that's not really concrete that he could survive in space for very long if Luigi just tried, I mean, if Shadow just tried to like, you know, take him out in that way, if he just realized he couldn't beat him. But in like a regular scenario, I don't think Shadow would ever think to do this right off the bat. And I think that gives Luigi plenty of time to beat Shadow. So with that being said, I think Luigi wins mid diff. Um, if you guys have any questions, please tell me in the comment section below. I'd be happy to comment with you. As I've said in a previous video, I love talking in the comments. It's really fun and I really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite things to do of making these versus battle videos. Uh, thank you as always. And I can never tell you this enough. I'll never be able to tell you this enough. Thank you. And if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to hit the red subscribe button. Thanks as always. And I hope you guys have a nice day. Luigi wins. And uh, yeah, I'm out.